Looking into 2019, St. Francis will be led by Matt, the Crable guy. It's his second year under center after replacing Nick Ferrer. And in the Cougar spring game this afternoon, Crable looked more comfortable in his surroundings. Crable handled the situation well last year, but he seemed sometimes bailed out by his athleticism. This season, more within the offense, and this will help. P.J. Dean rocks him to sleep. The east side grad gets in for six. No Justin Green in the backfield this year for the Cougs, but they have other guys that spread the ball around. Tony Johnson bowling his way in the end zone a couple times with the second offensive unit. Three different backs at over 50 yards on the afternoon rushing. This offense better score some points. The defense continues to grow without some key pieces in the middle from a year ago. Sophomore Quentin Franklin Jr. is seeing the pick there on defense. Head coach Kevin Donnelly wants Wants to make it out of these games without injury, and they did just that along with improving right on schedule. Uh, I, I am I'm comfortable with my, where I'm at right now. You know, going through a season, you know that uh, I hadn't played football in a long time. So, building that confidence throughout the season was huge. And now coming into this season, that's the biggest thing that I have now that I didn't is confidence. But overall, I mean, I thought it was a good, uh, solid uh, effort out of everybody. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm pleased with our progress. I'm optimistic about the fall. Yeah, yeah, we still got a lot of work ahead of us. So, you know, we're back in the weight room on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to put the helmets and shoulder pads and get them out of here and get them reconditioned for the fall. The Cougars will open their season against St. Francis, their opposite number of Illinois, on September 7th. Well,